Hey, Bible lovers. So this is my last segment of my interview with Pike Lambeth, the executive vice president of Lockman Foundation. I just want to thank him for taking time to do this. It was really awesome to be able to kind of pick his brain and talk to him about different things. In this little short segment, we talk about the translation philosophy behind the 2020 and why they made some of the decisions they made, especially to be more gender inclusive, to make sure that when we get brothers, does it also mean sisters? When we say man, does it mean people? So we kind of had that conversation. There's a little extra stuff in here, here and there. We talk about the LSB and the NASB 2020 kind of as translations that are both separate and somewhat independent from the 95, but also kind of tied to it. So anyhow, check it out. We wanted the NASB 2020 to uh, use English that's more familiar uh, to people today. So, so both of them, you would consider a formal or a literal translation, but the 2020, you all made a greater effort to really make sure that the words were understandable in modern day English. Correct. The, yeah. When I read through it, I noticed um, like the, the, some of the weights and measures and there were some still different things that, that weren't quite modernized yet. It's like you all mm -hmm. wanted to kind of keep some of those traditions to, to have it read like the traditional 95. And uh, I also noticed the addition of brothers and sisters, which um, some people get all fired up about. I actually thought it was a great touch because there are things especially in the New Testament where it's clear we're talking about people instead of man. Right. And in today's age, one of the things I had a lady in our church correct me once because I called everyone guys. And she said, we're not all guys. And I'm like, why don't guys, guys, you know what I mean? People. And she's like, why don't you just say people? So I guess the same thing happens in the translation world. You definitely. It can. Yeah. Um, you, right. We don't want it to be misunderstood. Um, clearly, you know, when the Bible uses man or man or brother or brethren, in the context, you can tell it's inclusive, right. but it's not explicit. So, right, yeah. And uh, are there any were there any passages that were difficult to tell, and you were just like, we're just going to leave this one alone because we're not sure. Oh yeah, I mean there were, gosh, there were a lot of passages that there was a lot of back and forth on. Um, yeah, you know there there were a lot of passages that didn't need any changes at all. I mean we didn't change yeah. every verse uh, right. at all. So, I mean, a lot of them are just totally fine. Same thing with LSB. There were a lot of pastors they just left alone. Right. Um, but yeah, no, there were definitely some challenging ones where there was a lot of back and forth to really get it the way everybody was happy with. These would both be considered new translations, not updates. Did I hear that correct? Correct. So, right, we're committed to keeping um, all of these as new translations. and like Part of an, uh, an ASB translation family, as it were. Um, because they're distinct. Uh, you know, Zondervan's been publishing NASB 1995. They just refreshed their whole uh, NASB 95 line. All the type settings are updated with their comfort print font. Yep. It looks great and they're doing great and they're excited about it. Um, yeah. it and so, yeah, we're, it is growing and we're happy for the NASB 95 to grow and flourish. Uh, just as we are with the LSB and the NASB 2020. They all, they all complement each other. The nice thing about um, them is they're all based on the NASB 95, so they all feel familiar um, right. with each other. Um, they're not like totally separate translations, um, so they work well together. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this series, and if you did enjoy it, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you go ahead and do that. Click subscribe down below, and also make sure you like and comment on this video. It kind of helps me in the algorithm. So anyways, God bless you. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your next word.